Again, from the search mode, pressing menu to the six block menu, I'm going to arrow over to ground tracking and press enter. And these are the features that deal with the ground. Uh, auto track is typically recommended. It, it uh, automatically updates the ground balance as the ground gradually changes. Uh, report shows you on the center of the screen when it's tracking. It'll replace where program is with tracking when it does track. Arrows to the right, it's increasing its ground rejection setting. Tracking with arrows to the left means it's decreasing that ground tracking setting. So you can monitor your tracking there, and that's useful when you're adjusting the speeds. Uh, inhibit deals a little bit better with uh, unusual uh, ground anomalies. Uh, what it does is it prevents it from over-tracking on just a slight change in the ground. Uh, that way, if it's not representative of the surrounding ground, you're not going to adjust your ground balance all the way through the range for one particular anomaly. Speed, of course, is how quickly it's tracking to the ground. Uh, the higher numbers track faster. You don't want it to track too fast. Uh, like inhibit implies, you can track too quickly. Uh, if it's not representative of the surrounding ground, quickly tracking to it is going to throw performance off rather than help it. And again, tracking is to increase performance by keeping the detector balanced for the general search area or the general ground. Offset can aid in detecting small targets and highly mineralized ground. It can also deal with the hot rocks better, uh, going a little bit plus. It says balance to perfect and then give it a little bit more. And that can help uh, deal with some of the mineralized hot rocks and stones. A lot of advanced operators like to be a little bit on the positive offset. Lock track is another way of dealing with difficult spots of mineral. You can ground balance manually to a specific mineral, lock your ground balance, or have it locked to begin with, and it's not going to track at all. It's going to hold that setting indefinitely until you either do another manual ground balance or you turn off your lock sequence. So locking turns off the tracking, and the advantage is in, f in setting it to a particular ground rejection level and maintaining that ground rejection level. Now, I can also offset my, my uh, track lock, and what that's going to do is say, when I manually ground balance, ground balance perfect, and then give it a little bit more. And again, that's going to aid in detecting small targets in difficult types of ground, or in avoiding responses from particular uh, mineralized rocks or hot rocks. Squeeze and release the trigger once to go to the six block, twice to go to the search mode.